Hey everybody, this is going to be a very quick uh, video. We're just going to recap uh, UK's turn six. This is our 1942 BBR game. And uh, Hot Desert Runner is, is playing the UK uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. Anyway, he had <clears throat> 44 IPCs to spend. And this is what his purchase was. Uh, two fighters, a transport, that's 27. Uh, buying down seven points worth of damage in Calcutta. Uh, three infantry for nine, and then one IPC left over to be carried over till round seven. So combat moves. There's really only one battle that uh, Hot Desert Runner had in mind, and it has to do with uh, UK's tech that they developed under the BBR. Um, his tech is radar and ATC, and it, it, it lets you do several things, but one of them is it increases uh, your <clears throat> air, aircraft range by uh, plus two instead of plus one when you leave from a UK airbase. And so what that means is his little fighter here in Calcutta, it has a range of six. Um, and so what he what he did was he flew one into 39, two into 38, three into 37, four into 43, and five into 35 to go after those two uh, Japanese transports. And there is no scramble here because we don't at the Axis don't have any uh, fighters or tactical bombers in the Philippines at the moment. So that is the only battle that he declared, and the way this went was, um, oh, one other thing, under the BBR, a, a pair of transports like this gets to roll one die at one, so they do have a chance. Um, but it didn't work out for them. Um, both transports were sunk, was the result there, sent to the bottom of the sea as Detroit would say. And then this fighter has one movement point left. And so what he's going to do is fly back to C-Zone 43, and he's going to rendezvous with his carrier here in C-Zone 39, which is leaving from a naval base. So it goes 1 into 38, 2 into 37, 3 into 43, to pick him up. Pretty clever move, I thought. Um, the other non-combat movements, so he's taking the rest of the UK fleet here in 39, and it's also going to Sea Zone 43. The cruiser, the destroyer, and the transport. And as the transport is going, it actually picks up two guys from Burma, drops them off in Borneo. That's non-combat on the Pacific side. Um, oh, a couple others here. So these, let's see, the tank, the anti-aircraft gun, and the artillery moved up into Burma. So he's definitely fortifying Burma, trying to keep that Southeast Asia point out of the hands of the Axis. And then Another move, I'm just kind of going across the markers here. He moved these two UK infantry from Iraq into northwest Iran as a check against what uh, whatever the Germans may be planning to do up there with those Black Sea transports. Uh, let's see, down here in South Africa, this fighter flew one into Rhodesia, two into Congo, three into Sudan, four into Egypt. So he's reinforcing Egypt. And then the artillery and the tank were railed. Um, under the BBR, you can rail units from a factory. Uh, one, two, three, up into Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. So that's that movement. Uh, then the only other thing I think was there is a convoy against the UK here, 
and that was rolled out and it turns out that uh, UK lost two points from that convoy that is there and then uh, placement of units what uh, UK did was the two fighters they built those in London and the transport got built into C Zone 109 with that multinational allied fleet there. There's Canadians, French, Americans, British, all crammed in there. Um, and then the remaining three infantry that were built were built in India itself. So that is uh, basically the recap of UK's turn. Um, UK is 39 on the chart. They got a national objective bonus of six for holding some of these Middle Eastern uh, territories. So that put them at 45. Then with the convoy there, that knocks them down to 43. And the one point that they carried over from last time puts them at 44 to spend for uh, Turn seven, which is coming up. So we're coming right down to the end. Um, turn seven and then turn eight is the end of the game. So it's it's definitely getting interesting. Italy's up next and that's that's me. I need to do Italy. So thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.